hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys today is friday happy friday to everyone out there if you are new to this channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on our post notification bell so you are notified every time i drop a video and we have elijah over here somewhere oh say hey hey <laughs> So right now, you guys, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that there is a hurricane watch for the state of Connecticut, you guys. And if you guys don't know, I live in Connecticut. So we need to prepare ourselves for this storm. Today is Friday, like I just told you guys. And the storm is supposed to hit Sunday morning, early Sunday morning around like 3 a.m., so i was doing a little bit of research on this storm and basically they're saying that it's like a category one storm it was supposed to hit like the shoreline of the state of connecticut and we live on the shoreline we're literally like a couple miles from the beach so um not far at all and they were saying that you know we need to make an evacuation plan we also need to get emergency kits um because they're still tracking the storm, so they don't know how bad it's going to get. But they did say that as of right now, like the, the winds are supposed to be about 75 uh, miles per hour. And um, it's supposed to be real heavy rain. So that can, you know, can turn into floods and we're right by the beach. So we need to make sure that we have things in place to make sure that we are safe. You know, I have a toddler, so and this is new to him. So I want to make sure that he's safe. So we do need to go out to the grocery store and grab some water, some necessities in case, you know, the power goes out or, you know, the water, we have no running water. So we need to grab that and things of that nature. I also want to go to BJ's today and get Elijah's cupcakes for his birthday party. I want to order them and have that, just get that out of the way because his party is in literally a month from now so i want to just have those ordered and then the day before his party i'll go pick them up and then we'll be good so um, we're gonna go and do that today but in the meantime we're gonna get ourselves together because i know y'all probably looking like girl what is going on with your hair what is why are you in this nightgown why are you in this nightgown I'm in the nightgown because I went to sleep really late last night trying to get things up for YouTube for you guys. My hair is like this because I just don't know what to do with natural hair. I don't want to get it done into like braids or anything until it gets closer to his party because if I have a style in for too long, it'll start irritating my scalp. So I want to get it done closer to his birthday party so it could look fresh. But yeah, so this is my life. This is real life. This is this is mommy this is mommy you know this is not me all the time but this is me today and i just wanted to record this process because i just want you guys to see like what you know what we're going through right now in connecticut so this vlog won't go up right away i'm gonna wait until sunday to see what happens and hopefully um you know i can get some good footage and hopefully praying to god that it's not a really bad storm and is minimal damage if anything that we definitely can recover from and i pray and hope that everybody is still taking the right precautions with covid and everything of that nature i hope you guys are staying safe out there because this is no joke you guys i hope you guys are staying prayed up as well I do want to pray right now and just pray for the families that may get affected by this storm, including myself. So we can just bow our heads right now and just talk to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you protect us, Lord, throughout this storm, Lord. Father God, I just ask that you cover us in your blood, Lord, your holy blood from the crown of our head, Lord, to the soles of our feet, Lord. We ask that you touch our families, Lord, our loved ones, Lord, that they are safe, Lord, and that they have everything that they need throughout this storm, Lord. Touch us, Lord, and keep us wrapped in your arm, Lord. We know that we are going to come out of this storm victorious, Lord, and we know we're going to come out of this storm, Lord, with minimal damage, Lord. We ask, Lord, in your name, Lord, that you do the unimaginable, the unthinkable, Lord. We pray to God that this storm is not a bad storm, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray this prayer. Amen. 
So yes, you guys, we are about to go get ourselves dressed and we're gonna go to the store. So I'll see you guys once my mom gets here and I start back recording. This alert just literally came through on the phone buzzing. And it says, National Weather Service, a storm surge warning. This weather alert says, a storm surge warning is in effect for this area for the danger of life-threatening flooding. This warning is issued up to 36 hours before hazardous conditions begin. Urgently complete, I can't, why, it won't let me, okay. Complete efforts to protect life and property. Follow evacuation orders if given for this area to avoid drowning or being cut from emergency services. Wow. So this sounds serious, you guys. So we're on our way now actually to where? Yeah, to get um, to get some water crab legs for tonight. Wait, we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. Oh, you're gonna go get off and go oh, around. Okay. So um yeah, she gonna she wanted to stop at the fish market first. They close at six o'clock, so we're gonna stop there first, and then we're gonna head over to BJ's and get the water and you know the necessities we need for this storm that's coming. What's up? What's up, Lodge? You got a monster truck. So you said that it's flooding, life threatening so the, conditions the, with flooding. Right. So the rain that's coming with the storm with um, Hurricane Henri is already a problem for the state of Connecticut because in certain parts of the state, the upper parts of the state, the ground is already saturated. So uh -huh. with new rain dumping on top of that, there's nowhere for the rain to go but up. So the ground is already wet. The rain is going to come up. It's going to just, and it's going to cause flooding. Right. So now with that flooding there in the upper part of the state, where is it going to go? downhill is headed back toward the south which causes problems for us on the shoreline right okay so, so overall it's a problem for the whole state yeah yeah i got a toddler so i'm nervous you know he only but two feet tall two three feet tall and you know they're talking about flooding and all of this stuff we're close to the beach so just imagine you know what we would be going through and having a toddler like i'm nervous well i think we're gonna be fine but i did in. pray i did pray so i know god is watching over us and he's That's protecting good. us so i'm not gonna be too fearful about that that's right god didn't give us a spirit of fear that's right but i have to say this and this might be new for my kids but it's old for me and i i don't, don't that doesn't mean i'm gonna be foolish though um I have survived storms worse than this. The, sto the storm surge is something different. That's flooding. But I have survived wind and rain before and, 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 and hail pellets and things like that. But don't think I'm going to be foolish and sit around. If they tell us to evacuate, if, uh, evacuate. <laughs> if they tell us to evacuate, yeah. me and mine, we in this uh, four by four and we out the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but if they tell us to stay put, stay planted, and 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 ride it out, then this is the storm that we're gonna have to go through, and it won't be the first one because we just went through one last month, headed down for our vacation. Yeah, we, we had did. to go through the storm. We couldn't go around it, mm -mm. and that was it. We had to go through it, and we got through it, and we prayed as we went through it, and God brought us through. Yeah. So with that being said, if anybody is from around our area um, or in the around the Connecticut area or um, uh, the Massachusetts area where this storm is um, supposed to be, you know, really bad for us and you're watching, we're praying for you as well. Absolutely. So guys, we are in the line to get gas now. Look at all these cars everybody in line to get gas in case we have to evacuate it's real out here look how much gas we got what's our gas on oh, almost e 
We ain't got that much, that's for sure. <laughs> so we're in the line right now at BJ's getting gas. These people are being proactive. So if you guys are around the state of Connecticut, make sure you guys are being proactive and getting your stuff now than later because we just don't know how this is gonna play out. That's right. Why are you crying? You tired? Why are you gonna pick my baby up? Cause my arm hurting. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. I thought right it was here. gonna be worse than that. Worse than it is. But a lot of people might have came earlier. Come on, Eli. Come on, Eli. You can't be standing out in the parking lot like this. You see the TVs? These are big TVs. All right, you guys. So we get the Wesley Farm purified water for 409. We're gonna get two of these. All right, so we're gonna get two of these. They do have the Poland Spring for six twenty nine or forty pack, but I mean it's just water for us. So this will work. Yeah, look at this line for the deli. This is the line for the deli. This is ridiculous. The deli is all the way over there. And this is the line. The line goes all the way down there. This is ridiculous. And it starts all the way up there. Yeah, that's not even a line for the deli. That is the line for the front of the store for the registers. It's wrapped around the whole building. I mean, it's moving, but it ain't moving fast enough. That's ridiculous. Elijah, come over here. I had to pull this mask down for me to breathe for a second. I ain't around nobody, so I'm good. But let me pull it back up. Can you put this in here? So my mom asked me to come down the can aisle and I don't see nothing that we actually need. We just recently came down here not too long ago and we got basically everything that we need. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, we don't need none of this stuff. We don't need any of this stuff. We could get the chicken broth, yeah. But any um, everything else we don't need. We got already at home. Yeah, look at this line. It's moving, but look over there. It's still from all the way over there, all the way around. Crazy. Yeah, I don't know. This storm done is looking like it's trying to, it's trying to come a little bit early. It's raining already. Yeah, it's raining already, and it's so muggy out here. It's not raining bad. It's nothing crazy. But I don't know. My mom said it's supposed to be passing showers, but who knows what is going to happen. The weather is just so unpredictable, especially here in Connecticut. One minute it's hot, next minute it's not. Next minute it's raining, next minute it's sleeting, snowing. So we just don't know. But we leaving BJ's now after like an hour and some change. So yeah, we got two things of water. We got the polar um, seltzer water. We got a thing of juice boxes for Elijah. We got some, what's this? Turkey kielbasa. We got some pop tarts, some chicken broth, some grapes. grapes what is that? Some kind of mixed something. You, put, you ain't put this in? No, I, I picked it up. I just forgot what it was. <laughs> Oh, some, some type of trail mix yeah. and then we got some canned chicken breast we got some bread some bananas those are Elijah's favorites and some candy so we pretty much stocked up already at home from the last time we went to the grocery store but I just wanted to show you guys what we did end up picking up
But like I promised you guys, I told you guys I will be back on Sunday to let you guys know, um, you know, what goes on through this storm, right? So it's just so mind blowing, so mind boggling that like the news was just like over the top with this storm. And, you know, we did pray that, you know, it wouldn't be a bad storm. Um, it'll be minimal, you know, damage and stuff like that. But the way they exaggerated this storm, you would you would have thought that something would have happened, like something. And you guys, it was like a normal, I, I, I wouldn't even consider it a storm, like just a normal rainy day. There's nothing going on outside. Like, I'm going to let you guys see exactly what I see because it's just, it's mind blowing to me because I'm like, we done went to the store, got all this water and stuff. They said that the power may go out because of the winds. The winds are not even heavy at all at all and it's just like are you kidding me right now like you have these people panicking like it was going to be something serious look at this that's crazy it does something to your heart when you see that now i'm not sure what is looking like in other parts of the state but where i live at which is close to the shoreline as well and um close to the beach it's not doing anything over here but i'm a, i'm gonna let you guys see what i see and you guys tell me if I'm exaggerating or y'all see something that I don't see, okay? This is literally what it's doing out here. Here's the tree right in front of my house. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, you guys. So y'all tell me if I'm exaggerating or not. Do y'all see that? Literally just rain showers. Literally just rain showers. And not that I'm complaining or anything. Because I thank God that it wasn't a bad storm like I prayed for. But it was just the it was just the news like making it out to be something that it actually wasn't. Because they started this mess on Friday. They started this mess on Friday sending out alerts about floods and all of this um crazy crap and stuff and it has literally done nothing and it is currently like four something in the afternoon and this storm started three three a.m this morning and absolutely nothing has happened and i just thank god but the news should be ashamed of themselves <laughs> like they should really be ashamed of themselves of you know the way they made people panic going out to these stores, rushing to these stores, just thinking that it was going to be so bad. But I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Um, because the weather does change, but I felt like for the past couple of days that they was like watching this storm, they was making it seem like it was going to be a bad one, even though it was a category one. But they was mostly like saying that the flooding was going to be the worst and it hasn't been no flooding thank god but i just wanted to come back on here and let you guys know what was up with the storm i don't think it's going to get any worse than what it is going forward so this is the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video prayers for the other parts of the state that may have got affected more than what we did but yeah that's the end of this video make sure you guys like this video you comment and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys all in my next video peace